Hello everyone! With patch 7.2, we have Menyev on the Broken Shore, who informs us that we need to rally a new champion to bolster our ranks. The Warlocks return to the Dreadscar Rift, where it's Shinfell that tells them that Jubeka, she's been more withdrawn than usual. Her mind probably still lingers on Kendravad, the Council's one-time leader, who she was forced to banish after he took in too much fell magic during the Warlock Greenfire questline. That took place during Mr. Pandaria, and she has been committed to keeping him banished until the Burning Legion took her as their prisoner. His fate is now unknown and it's clearly troubling our friends. The last thing that she said was that she felt his presence in Azuna, so that's where we travel and we find Jubeka next to an occultist prisoner from the Cult of the Green Flame. The lure of Kendravad is strong, even when not in this world, there are those who wish to be near him at any cost, hoping to share in his power. A group of these fanatics are here in the area, working tirelessly to bring Kendravad back. The cult is harnessing fell energy to fuel their efforts, and within their compounds they are powering fell crystals that can hold a great amount of fell magic. Without the proper power to perform the ritual, the occultists will have a tough time succeeding in their task, so we steal their crystals, but we don't destroy them, since something so powerful, we can always find a use for that. As we go about doing that, we also kill as many of the cult members as we can, with Corinne the Devout waiting at the end of the compound. You're too late! The ritual is almost complete. Soon Kanrathad will be among us once again. Enough of these games. You will not interfere with our plans. We will Are not you there? Be Do not stopped. let them take me. I could not endure such a fate. Can it be true? Does some sliver of her friend still remain within that wretched demon? Soon enough, his banishment will fade and he will return to our world. We must keep him and his power out of the Legion's hands at any cost. And if her old friend is still in there somewhere, perhaps we can even bring him back. The crystals we recover, they feed on fell energy and we can use the ravenous crystals to siphon away the magic that consumed Kendravad. But first though, their power must be depleted, so we harness the power of the crystals and we use the energy to kill demons. Jubeka will keep the depleted crystals safe until they're needed, and back at base we find out that our forces they've received information on Kenrafad's whereabouts. It would seem that his twisted followers have begun their ritual on the Broker's Shore. The Burning Legion cannot be allowed to use Kenrafad as their weapon, so our acolytes they summon us to the Broker's Shore, where we place the depleted crystals in a circle around Kenrafad. If placed correctly, the crystals should link together and begin to siphon the fell energy. Now our actions, they don't go unnoticed, as the occultists are not too happy with us, but nothing can stand in our way. You will not disrupt this ritual! Dark Summoner Zara is forced to make an appearance in an attempt to stop us, but not even the Shivara is able to bring us down. Netherlord, you've done it! Conrathad has returned to us! Oh, is he alive? Jubeka has lived with a heavy heart ever since the day that she fulfilled her promise to banish Kendravad. She never fought to see the day that he would return to us, but the warlock who brought the council together in pursuit of greater power, the one who took that goal a little bit too far, he has now come back. The crystals that hold his fell magic, they have to be taken care of. If any of them should break, the energy that's inside of them, they would find his way back to our friend. It's decided that each member of the council, they will watch over the crystal to make sure that that doesn't happen. Kendravad remembers fighting us at the Black Temple. How could he forget such power? It seems fitting that the council chose us as his leader in his absence and rest assured, he has no desire to challenge their decision. He owes us his life, so instead he would serve us and the council. He's sure that there's much we can learn from each other. Another powerful ally recruited to our cause and we have bolstered our strength against the Legion once more. That is how warlocks obtain the new champion which means to reach the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time guys. See ya!